I'm I'm completely over this show. It's um, it's got to the point now where I ended the episode, and I actually turned to my wife and I said, "Only three episodes to go." Almost as in relief. And what she said to me was so powerful. She's like, "Ain't it a sad, sad reality that we're actually looking forward to a Star Wars show?" or Star Wars anything for that matter, being over. Because at this point, it is literally hate-watching. And for all the bravado I've seen online about how this is the best episode yet, I don't agree. Because th th this is very, very much a personal thing, which which I'll get on to in a moment, so just please keep watching. But to, to address the positives of this episode, listen, were the lightsaber fights cool? Yeah. Yeah, they were. Um... But it's, do you know what? End it there, because that's exactly what goes into the negative. My whole problem with this is that this episode, it, it, it pulled for like, it, it, it's low-hanging fruit. It literally was like, well, give him a lightsaber fight, because Star Wars fans love, light, light, love lightsaber fights. Yeah, we do. Of course we do. And do you know why this episode annoyed me so much? It's because of that. You've now... For half the season. I'm a defender of the first two episodes. But hindsight being a wonderful thing. Obviously the way it's played out. Is it's hard to defend the first two episodes now. But having not seen episodes three and four. When I originally watched the first two episodes. I thought it's not great. But there's something promising going on here. I'm interested where they go. Obviously it's fallen off a cliff at this point. But. Pff, the fact that you dare try and mask the fact that you are a terrible show by giving me visual noise for anyone who knows me they know that that is like that's sacrilegious to me because that's just that is just filmmaking and in this case tv making of a coward only a coward hides behind visual noise when they know that they don't have a decent script to bolster it up and what do i mean by decent script let's be real for the defenders of the Acolyte, of which I was one in episodes one and two. I was one of them. There's no doubt about that. Um, there's this whole, oh, they haven't really said that the villain is a Sith. We don't know if it's a Sith or not. It's a Sith. They flat out, outright said, it's a Sith at this point. The, the way that every single person with a minimum of two functioning brain cells saw it coming. Like... Minor spoiler here, without actually saying the thing, even though it's two days on now, the internet's probably ruined it at this point. If you've been watching this, one of the predictions I made from the last episode, from episode four, I was like, well, it's either this person or that person. It was it was one of those two. And <laughs> it's pathetic. And though the lightsaber fights with said Sith were cool, it was visual noise because, once again, it betrayed everything that the previous episodes have set up. The inconsistency going on is on another freaking level. You know, May decided that, oh, I'm going to be good now. By the way, in episode four, there was no reason for that. I didn't even address that in my angry review last week, but like, angry. Um, but yeah, she just turned good all of a sudden. And she's not like a villain now, but she did square up to one of the Padawans and legitimately tried killing her. Uh, the Daphne Keen playing what's her face? Souls Padawan. I don't even know their names. They're forgettable characters, man. <laughs> so now she's running away from the Sith, but she's beating up her sister and she's sneaking away with Soul back to Coruscant and she's attempting to kill Padawans. But last episode, we were told she was good. Yeah, yawn. Absolute yawn. And then you've got Sith Boy himself. Again, for the sake of the people who have not watched this yet and who are planning on binging it, I won't reveal who it is. I mean, I've said it's one of the people from epi my episode 4 prediction. But without going into name, not to be a, a, a bona fide douchebag, the lightsaber fight, again, was really cool. The way he moved and the way he fought was really cool. But even there, it's inconsistencies. One moment, he's wiping out, a, not an armada, but a freaking legion of Jedis as if they were nothing. And then he goes up against Sol, has the opportunity to kill him, and is just like, nye, nye. <laughs> What are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> 
<laughs> and then death by bugs is a thing. But hey, diddly do, he didn't die by bugs. But the way he was defeated in battle was bugs. CGI bugs killed the Sith. This isn't Starship Troopers, Mother Flubber. What are we doing here? Like, I'm sorry. I, I have defended Kathleen Kennedy for a very, very long time. And I will continue to defend the good that she did. The Force Awakens was good. Rogue One was good. I am a defender of Solo, a Star Wars story. I like that movie. There are even things in The Last Jedi that I think are really, really good. The Mandalorian Season 1 and Season 2 are really good. I even got a minor kick out of Ahsoka, though it wasn't great. But there's been too much bad now. And when it's been bad, it's been really bad. I, I just felt sad watching this episode. I'm like... Is this what Star Wars has become? Like, bugs beating Sith? Inconsistent character arcs? All of a sudden, good becoming evil, evil becoming good, and switching back and forth like it was nothing? Man, this isn't it, man. This this, this just isn't it. I'm sad. I'm, I'm really sad that Star Wars has become this. I'm going to obviously hate watch the last three episodes. I'm, you know... I'm five episodes in now. I may as well keep reviewing them. But I want to know what you all thought. Did, did did you get fooled into thinking that this was a good episode on the basis that there were lightsaber fights? Or like me, did you see right through the visual noise and right through the smoke and mirrors of trying to fool us that, hey, this one's good? It's not. It's just not. Did, did you see through it? I want to hear from you. Leave your thoughts in your comments down below. And I guess, yeah, I guess I'll see you next week in a few days for episode six i can't wait it's so sad. it's so sad that i'm not excited for star wars what have you done disney we we need a change bob Iger is back he will make the change i'm very confident about it but for now nico luro from the silver screen dudes signing out subscribe button there another video for you to watch up there go ahead and do all that goodness and i'll see you on the next video bye for now